Hello there, welcome to Fisherman ATX channel. Today I wanted to show you how I did my truck rig for surf fishing and uh, fishing in general. First I want to talk about the roof uh, top rod holders. I got this uh, Rhino rack, uh, which I think they're pretty awesome. Uh, they do lock. So that your rods are secured if you happens to stop at gas station, restaurant, and whatnot. Uh, you have a peace of mind there, I guess. They do hold up to uh, four rods. Uh, I would say like four freshwater rods with their reels. Or uh, four saltwater rods with no reels. Four water rods, I mean, saltwater rods are a little bit thicker, bigger. Oh. They are very convenient. I like them. Uh, I can't complain about anything. Uh, the one thing I would suggest is when you mount them to be very careful. This is plastic right here, and you've over tightened, this will break. Uh, I didn't break mine. I uh, read the reviews about it, so I was kind of careful with it. Another thing is, uh, over time, as you drive, the heat, the vibration, whatnot, uh, the screws will loosen up. So you want to make sure you check them from time to another and tighten them. You can just push this, and you will see that it will move. So you want to tighten those screws. Other than that, I really like them. I was just uh, showing here the truck. Let me go to the side, show you guys the uh, kayak rack. So, this is also Rhino rack. Uh, I love them also. The uh, fold down, which is a plus, uh, I don't have to worry about uh, the clearance when I go to my garage. So uh, for a fresh water, when I'm, well not fresh water, but when I go around town, uh, I drive around like, you know, 40, 50 mile per hour to get to the, some lakes around here. Uh, I use it in this position here, as I'm showing here in the picture. But while I drive to the, to the beach, I gotta go on the highway 70, 80 mile per hour. Uh, this is the position that I use. And I like it that way because it's less wind resistant. And uh, uh, you can drive like 80 mile per hour even in a windy day without having to worry about the wind. Cool thing I like about this uh, rack is it has this here for the to hold the pedals. It just opens up like this, and you put your pedals, which is pretty cool. One less thing to worry about where to storm while driving. So it's uh, pretty neat. I like it. Okay, I also want to show you guys my uh, uh, my light there, the light bar. Uh, this is uh, nothing too fancy, uh, just a curved 40 inch, I think, curved light bar from Amazon. Uh, I love it. It does all the job. It's very bright. Uh, comes in handy when I drive at night uh, at the beach. A lot of times I take off from here around 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and uh, when I'm out there, it's still very dark. It helps me find my spot, my secret spot. Just kidding. The next thing I want to show you guys is the uh, what I did to my truck underneath to protect it from uh, uh, the salt water. Basically, when I go uh, on the beach, uh, this is undercoating. I got it done at Linex. Uh, I think this is something kind of almost like necessary if you uh, drive a lot down the beach. You go do a lot of surf fishing. Uh, it helps uh, prevent. Uh, some rust damage to your frame so it's all under the body 
done out all uh, in and out the, the frame. I love it. So the next thing I want to talk about is this uh, CBI high, CBI off-road high clearance uh, front hitch receiver. It's a hidden front hitch receiver, and I really like it. It doesn't take out the uh, 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 approach angle from the front or the uh, clearance, ground clearance. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I use it for my uh, uh, rod holder slash cooler basket, as you see here in the picture. This is the overall truck, and that was the uh, fishing uh, rig that I have on my truck. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully I answered some of the questions. Till next time, fish on and fish hard. Later.